Hi, I'm Chef Nancy. Welcome to Family Friendly Foods and stay tuned for today's show on fruit. Well, here we are, and here Kirby's are. joined me again. I love working with Kirby. Well, I love learning from you. I'm going to put my little apron on here, and I'm ready to go. What are we making today? Today, we're going to make three fruit things. We're going to make a fruit tray, All right. a fruit salad, okay. and some fruit skewers. Perfect, because fruit's in season now, isn't it? Well, it's always in season, All right. and you know that as well as I do. People don't eat enough fresh fruit. Now, you can buy frozen, and it's like frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's almost as good, and it's much better than canned. All right, good. But we're doing fresh today. Now, first, I've got my pineapple. Mm -hmm. And what I need to tell you all about melons, whether it's a pineapple, honeydew, cantaloupe, any of them, you need to scrub them. To get off all, all the, the goobers. All right. Now, any more... Melons are considered potentially hazardous foods. What? Yeah, just like meat. Because there's so much, there's so much pesticides. Bacteria on right. the outside. This seems hard to get a lot of it off. That's why you, you go and you go to your little favorite little store okay. and you get yourself a brush. Okay. And it's just for produce. Yeah, I bet you can get one of those for a buck somewhere. Yeah, exactly. All right. And it's just for produce and every time you run the dish machine, dishwasher, I'm yes. sorry, I'm not in a restaurant. Every time you run the dishwasher, <laughs> you put it in there so you keep it clean. Not the fruit, but the brush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna cut the top off and I'm gonna do something a little different with this piece. Great. Now, Maybe lots of times people for like to save okay. that. And I don't like to put things in the middle. Okay. I like to put them at the end. All right, now I'm gonna cut the bottom off. I've never known exactly how to, eat, how to properly cut a pineapple so this is well, good news. we're gonna learn two ways today. Great. All right now what I'm gonna do for this fruit tray I'm just gonna cut this in half okay mm -hmm. now when you cut it in half here's the trick I've got a core down here. See it right there. Yeah you can see the core. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this right through the core Okay. Because the core is really tough. I didn't think we were supposed to eat that. Am I well, wrong? you can eat it, but okay. you don't want to. Right. Who wants to eat so that? So what we're going to do, Kirby, we're going to take it at an angle like right. this and cut it just at an angle. Easy. And get the core out. Huh. And I'm going to do that with both of them. I core's love it. Core's gone. I'll take the core. Okay. And sometimes the kids like to... Suck on that or something? Yeah. Like a sugar cane? But... Better. Better. Much better. <laughs> and remember, every color has different nutrients. Okay? We've and, talked about that before. Oh, But it lots. hasn't changed. No. <laughs> now, what I've done is I've put them back together. All right. Now, I'm going to leave the skin on. You are. For several reasons. One, if you do a fruit tray this way, you don't have to worry about having... A toothpicks and, and things. And all yeah. that kind of stuff. Also... If you want to do this at home, cut the fruit, put it in a Tupperware container. It stays fresh longer ah, because it won't dry out. Great, so it saves us money. Right, so I'm going to cut, and I've got a serrated knife here. Mm -hmm. This is so much fun to do, and we're not going to make a humongo bongo tray today. But it's going to be beautiful, I know. It and is. tasty. That's the now, great thing about fruit is it's so sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. When I work with kids, I always tell them, it's like eating sugar. It is, but it actually has some nutrients in it for you. Now, I'm going to sit it down. Okay. And I I'm going to shingle do. it. All right, I'll shingle it. It's shingled. Shingled pineapple. And you can see we've, we've got room to put more if we want. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay? And with this, with our little fascinator. But we're not finished oh, okay. yet. Now, what we're going to do, we're mm -hmm. going to take some of these strawberries ah. and kind of decorate with them. Can I do a couple? Yeah, because we're cool. I love you know, this. We're all that. This is great. And then I'm going to take some of these really big ones mm -hmm. and put them here so people can pick them up. Can I give it a topper or no? Well, sure. All right. I mean, it's just it's all like your It's like decorating a Christmas tree. I hate when people put this huge thing of grapes on. Right, because then everyone else has to touch it. I also hate when they 
I'm sorry, stop me. I can't stop. Um, I am right now. Over decorating the <laughs> Christmas tree. What you want to do, and I'm going to ask you to do mm -hmm. this, you want to cut okay. bunches. Cut like bunches. That. All right, so that people can just take small little bunches instead of yes. handling the whole thing. You know, whenever we do things together, I can tell that you're a little concerned about my abilities. No. But there we go. That's why I'm glad you work with kids a lot. Yeah, well, far be it for me to say anything. All right, now, look at our tray. It's beautiful. Let me get this out of the way. And it was so simple. That took about... Two seconds. Two seconds. And if we hadn't been talking, it would have taken one second. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great fruit tray. It's summertime. You're having a party. Now, at the end of this show, I'm going to make some dips okay. that you can use for all the things we're making. But I do want to just point out one more time that this idea with leaving the skin on the pineapple is fantastic because then you don't have to fiddle around with toothpicks and a bunch of napkins right around there because everyone's exactly. hands are sticky. That's a great you tip. You need one pair of tongs, a little plate to put the mm -hmm. stuff on, and it really stays fresh and juicy. And your little bunches of grapes as opposed to big ones. So great and tips. And don't pick every grape. Don't pick every grape. All right, now here we go for the next one. Okay. We're going to make a fruit salad. All right, Kirby. Yes. Let's yes, make chef. a fruit salad. Let's make it. Fruit salad. Now, yummy, yummy. We want to sharpen our knives some, but let me tell you, a steel does not sharpen your knife. It doesn't? It keeps the edge on it. Every time you use a knife, it gets a few spurs on it. Ah. And then when you use the steel, it makes the spurs go away. So it's a smooth cut. It's, yeah, it, it, How do you, actually... you sharpen it, you take it to someplace like Heimendingers. Heimendingers. And they sharpen it. Favorite names of any store in and town. I wanted to dedicate this fruit show yes. to Jack Roby. All right then. Okay. Why is so, that? Well, he passed away okay. and he used to write for The Courier. Mm -hmm. He was a food critic yes. there. Well, that's and, nice of you. Yeah. Well, he Over was at The good, Courier, we appreciate that. Yes, there you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this different. Okay. Okay. In the last segment, we cut the top off and bottom. And we're going to cut the top and bottom off again. Okay. And I always use a serrated knife with this because... Which is interesting because I always thought serrated knives were only for bread. No, and you always saw with them, but the reason I'm using this is because it's just easier to get through the pineapple, the outside of it. Mm -hmm. Now, all right, I don't need this anymore. Give those to me, please. I'm giving them to you. Just put them in the sink. Yes, ma'am. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to have you do yes. to half the cantaloupe. Fantastic. I'm going to have you cut this end and that end off, cut it in half, mm -hmm and peel half of it, which is what I'm getting ready to do with this. What you do is you start with I'm your knife. I'm gonna have to watch you because I don't have any idea how to peel it. Okay. And you're gonna saw. Mm hmm And you really have to saw with the pineapple. See, and then I could gotten a little bit closer in on that. And we're making a fruit salad, so I understand why we want the, the outside so off of that. Gone. Shall I go? Yeah, cut there... each end off. Now. Let me show you. You're holding it right. You either want to squeeze it there hmm. or down here. Okay. Do not go like that. Why is that? Well, if you do that and you feel my arm, feel that muscle? Yeah. You'll get tennis elbow. Oh, well, I don't want that. No. Particularly because I'd like to play tennis. Well, there you go, sister. Nice? Yeah. Okay. Not enough? You're making that noise no, again. You're, like, you're, oh, not quite great. Not, just, just, yeah, don't. Okay, here? Yeah, we want to have some oh, left to eat. Oh, I wasted too much. I see. Right, okay. This is good because you're teaching me things to do that will keep me from wasting food. Now, cut it. Yeah, cut it in half. And notice how she put it on the flat side to cut it. That's the best way of doing it. That way you won't cut yourself. I pay attention. And you know, this is much easier with a sharp knife. Yes, it is. But if it's dull, you're still, you're sawing, so. All right. All right, so now I have this beautiful melon cut All in right, half. And we're going to take half of it and use for this fruit salad. All right, so now I'm going to just take the seeds out, right? Yes, ma'am. So I'm just going to do this the way I... No one ever taught me how to do this. I just made it up, so I just scoop it out. Exactly. Okay. 
Now, I'm trying to make sure I get all the eyes off this. Those little sharp things. Yeah, I don't like to eat those. Well, I, I do a lot of work with children, and trust me, it's poison. You're trying to kill them. No. But you know what? Once you start working with kids, because you know I've done some of this. Uh-huh. Once they trust you and realize that you're going to give them something they may not have ever eaten before, but they taste it and it's delicious, then you can keep adding more and more healthy foods. More and more. And more. Exactly. So exactly. there we go. This smells so All good. right. Now, here's what I'm going to have you do. Yes. Turn that upside down. Yes. And do what I just did and peel it. Now, what you're going to do. I'd like to watch you do it. Uh-huh. You're going to start right there. Okay. Now. And see, I'm sawing a little. It's all yours, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Now, I need to get rid I've of... I've never done this before. I know. Might you can a go while. a little bit deeper. Okay. Okay. Might be a while. Do you all have something you can go and do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting ready. I'm going to move this. Mow the lawn. I'll still be here peeling this. But you know what? I'm sure that if I did this a little more often, I would become... Yeah, quick. it's not that hard to do. It's just you have to do it once or twice. And you don't want any of the green, or what do we want? No. So what you're going to do, you're doing fine, especially since you've never done it before. This is how I get her to do it. Uh-huh. Well, you want to make sure you're going in. Okay, I'm just not going in far enough. Yeah. Mind if I give it a shot again? No, absolutely not. Now, like I did before with this pineapple, I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to use half of it for the fruit salad. Okay. So I'm going to quarter it like I did before with the rind on it. And I'm going to take out my core. Okay. I cut my core out. Hey, Chef Nancy. Hey, what? I'm really understanding why it's important to really brush and clean my fruit. Because as I'm cutting, taking this knife and going through the skin here, if I had a but if there was a lot of bacteria on it, I'd be bringing it into to the, the food. The, yeah, the melon. Yeah, the meat of the melon, whatever we call it. That's that's what you call it. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut this in strips because I want to make bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized for normal people. Okay. Not for a friend of mine who owns Ditto. It's called Chef Dominic. And Chef Dominic likes gigantic pieces? Oh, my God. That man would put a whole pineapple in his mouth. I didn't say that, Chef. I really didn't. Some people just, well, when you're in, working in a kitchen, you eat on the run for real. Do you need this stuff? No, ma'am. May I throw it away? Yes. Uh, here's the deal. Yes? Yes, you can use canned pineapple. But why? Yeah. See how quick this is? Should I start cutting up this melon? Yes. You might want to get a little bit more of that green off of it. Okay. Now I feel like I'm quite expert at this. Yeah. See, it's, all you have to do is do it once. Now, is cutting a melon this way going to be less wasteful than if I... Yes. Yeah, and it really doesn't... Once you do it like that once, mm -hmm. it doesn't take much time at all. Instead of doing what a lot of people do, they'll cut a little slice right. and then they, yeah. I just did that last night. I cut it all wrong last night. Well, you didn't cut it wrong. You just wasted time. Now, what I'm going to do is scooch my cutting board out and when the back of my knife, okay, I've got a paper towel underneath here. Yeah, whenever you cut with the cutting board, you want to put a wet towel, whether it's a paper towel or a washcloth or something underneath it. Oh, let me see that. So that keeps it from sliding. Keeps it from sliding. Now, I've got this, and while you're doing that, I'm going to... Now, you can put bananas in this, you can cut up apples, whatever you want. Again, I like to go with color, so we can put strawberries in here. And you can even use frozen fruit. When you thaw the frozen fruit, it gets a little runny, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to put those blueberries in there. And then I'm going to show y'all another trick. I'm going to get my paring knife. <laughs> you got to love her. You've got to. Okay, anyway. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this orange 
just the way I peeled everything else. I cut the top off and the bottom, and I'm coming around. I don't want to leave any white on it. And I'm going to, what we call in the business, supreme this orange. Supreme the orange. Yeah, don't just press down with the knife. You always want to have a little sawing motion. Oh. It's uh, gentler on, on the food. food. Okay. Yeah. All right, now, oh gosh, that smells good. Do you smell that? The orange? Yeah. Not yet. I'm well into this melon over here. So. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, I've got all the skin off of it. You see the little segment parts? I'm going to take my paring knife on one side of it, and I'm going to, like, saw. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go on this side of it and saw. Oh. And it comes right out. I wanted to do this even though it's really kind of the same color as the cantaloupe because I wanted to show y'all how to do this. It's easy to do with grapefruit if you want to make a citrus salad. I like to put grapefruit on that classic salad with bib lettuce, grapefruit, and, um, uh, oh shoot, I can't think of it. Mexican. Avocados. Avocados. Yes. I love that salad. Wait, now, what were the ingredients in that again? It sounds use good. Kentucky bib lettuce. Okay. And you use your segments from your um, grapefruit. Mm -hmm. And then you slice your uh, avocado. Mm -hmm. And it is so tasty. And usually you'll use some sort of mild vinaigrette on it because you've got so much good flavor with the uh, uh, citrus. Oh. That sounds great. I'm going to have to make that too. It is good. So these aren't the best little squares, but... All right. Now, do what I did and okay. so you're not putting your hand on everything. Oh. I do understand the importance of getting all that green off though. Because yeah. now that I've eaten my piece, it's like a little bit... It's bitter. It's a little bitter, so I'm trying to get as much off as I can. It would have been smarter for me to get that off when I was peeling it the first time. Well, but that was the first time you ever did it. Don't yeah. you feel more confident now? Yeah, I would be able to do it much better. And it's easier to do it to a whole one than it is to that half. Okay. But I wanted to give you a challenge. Well, you did. Oh, okay. And it kind of failed, but... Now. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is put these... I'm going to cut some of these in half orange segments. That, that way to peel that orange is, or whatever you just call that, slicing it in half is a great idea. A great trick. I didn't know how to do that either. Well, I didn't slice it in half. Well, I mean, you sliced it, you sliced the segments out. Oh, yeah. And I know, well, I, why don't I just use some uh, mandarin oranges? Well, you can. But All right, that's not popping. I'm going to get myself a few strawberries. All right, using the back of my knife. Yeah, back of your knife so you don't dull anything. I'm going to slide this in and we're adding more color. This would have been even better if I'd cut off all the green, but we'll do that next time we make it. Right. Ah, strawberries. Wallberries, wallberries. Now, I'm going to stir it up carefully. Because we want to be gentle to our fruit. Not yes. to bruise it? Oh, this would be pretty with blackberries. And mm -hmm. the reason I didn't use them is some people really have a hard time with blackberries. Is it the little seeds, seeds. in them? Seeds, yeah. And so I don't use them as much as I used to. Do they have trouble with raspberries too? Not as much. Hmm. I, I don't know. But you could really put anything you wanted to into yeah. like kiwi or... It would be beautiful with kiwi in it, mm -hmm. star fruit, mm -hmm. uh, mangoes. We need to do another segment on how to cut all of those. Yes, we sure do. But this is great. Isn't that? And that's a pretty, pretty salad. It's fresh. It can be an appetizer. It can go with the meal. It can be a it dessert. It can be a dessert. Yeah. It's very good dessert. Okay? So, that's our fruit salad. Piece of cake. And All right. We learned a lot about how to cut our melons and pineapples uh, and and oranges. our next thing we're going to do is make some skewers. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Let's clean up.
All right, ready for fruit skewers? Fruit skewers are very summer-like. They are. They're and very what festive. What we're going to do is we're going to put them, and you'll see, in this. Now, you could use a whole pineapple and just cut the bottom off, or I'm just using a half mm -hmm. because... We used the other half up already. Exactly. Now... And there's only two of us. <laughs> we don't need to eat a whole lot. I have Kirby here doing melon balls with the cantaloupe and one of the reasons I'm doing this is yes it looks nice but I want y'all to see how wasteful mm -hmm. it is so after you do this you cut the rest of it out and give it to the kids or give it to yourself okay but do you, we need the melon to be bald because it looks pretty better on our um, skewer right, right. It, and okay. it, but you can chunk it it doesn't make any difference now, what we're going to do, we're going to have the uh, strawberry at the top. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put like that's pineapple. Nice. Pineapple. All right. Okay. And then let's do a grape or two. Got it. If I can pick them up. And you don't have to do two grapes. I just think it'd look nice. I'll do two grapes. We'll do two grapes. Whatever you say. Whatever. And then one of our cantaloupe balls. Do you feel like I need to do some more cantaloupe balls? We can see. No, we're fine. Okay. And we're not making a whole bunch right now okay. because we'll sit here and eat it all. Then with the sharp part, I'm just doing a little bit in that strawberry and I'm capping it off. Okay? All right. And then... We're going to put it in there to hold it. So how's that? All right, so now I'm putting the strawberry on top of the, after I've made a little hole in it, right. I'm putting it on top of the dull end, and now the sh sharp end goes in here. Yeah. Cute. Awesome. Let's do that again. Yeah. So, and this is fun, and it, it's a little tedious, but you can get your children to help you mm -hmm. if they don't plan on punching their eyes out or something. Our children are always good for tedious tasks. Yes. For about three minutes. Well, that's true. Now, what I'm going to do, what I want you all to know we're going to do here is we're just doing these, but you can make anything you want in them. Anything. That's what's special about them. And I'm cutting. Hey, Chef Nancy, don't you think it's a good idea when you're doing something tedious like this with your kids and they're getting to work with food is a good time to talk to them about tasting tasting and what's healthy and it Absolutely. Might not seem a, so it's not like a lecture so this is a something like this would be a great thing to do while talking about the uh, importance of fruit and why different colors of fruit have different nutrients in them and how fruit can be sweet you know, I was teaching a class the other day, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say where I was. All right. And there was a young girl who was in about the fourth grade, and we were doing peaches. Mm-hmm. She'd never had a peach before. Oh. I know. Well, and everybody was kind of looking at her, and they were going to make fun of her, and I told them, that, no, no, we're not going to make fun. No, we're not going to make fun of that. And good for her, and she tried it. She tried it. Did she, she thought, like it? well... It's all right. A little slimy. Well, a little slimy. No, Look she, at that. She thought it was sour. I don't know where that sour. comes from. Sour. Sour. Sour? Sour. I can't talk. I've been talking to kids. <laughs> no, you're, that's your southern accent. What are you saying, sister? Just saying you have a lovely southern accent, chef. So where are you from? Chicago? Well, I am from Chicago, but other places too. And I really like a southern accent. Well, there you go. And here we have one more. This is such a great idea. I'm going to be doing this. Well, it's fun. For my next now, holiday what we're party. going to do is we're going to make some dips for our stuff. Great. What we're going to make, and this dip is good with fruit mm -hmm. or vegetables, put some. Sour cream? Sour cream okay. into the bowl. You don't need too much because, okay. you know, but we'll eat it all. That's perfect. All right, sour cream in the bowl. And then what we're going to do is you're going to zest some of this orange. Now, this is a big orange. It is a big orange. You think I can handle it? I don't know, sister. <laughs> and you only want the colored part. Okay. The white part gets bitter. 
And so you're just going to... All right. It now, goes without saying that we've washed this orange. Right. And I'm going to take some vanilla yogurt. And this is that non-fat vanilla yogurt, you know. And this is the Best Buy brand. Um, I always shop at Value Market. Yes. And their Best Buy stuff's good. It is good. Ooh. Now, I'm going to add a little <laughs> bit orange of... orange is zesty. Sorry, go ahead. You're doing adding what? Chocolate syrup. Chocolate syrup and van and what is this? Non-fat vanilla non -fat yogurt. Non-fat vanilla yogurt. Okay. Now you can mix it up completely, or you can let it look a little striated. Stri well, striated? Yeah, like this, and I kind of like that look. Okay. I'm very curious about what this is going to taste like. Oh, you're really going to like it. Now, I, I don't know it's if I put really enough fresh. in here. Well, we need to find out. So what we're going to do, I got another spoon here. Okay. It could use some more. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the rest of our goodies while you're doing that. Okay, I'll be zesty. What a good job. Thank you. No, seriously, oh. you're not getting any of the white. Thank you. And that's what's so important. I do like a dip with fruit now and then. But is that totally necessary, right? No. Because fruit is already sweet but and delicious. But if you're doing this, say, for a party. Yeah, perfect. It's nice to have it. And then, um, that's good. That should be plenty. All right, let's have another... We'll try at the end of our spoon like that. Yes. That way you're not double dipping. Mm. Isn't it mm. good? It's very good. Now, people can dip any of their fruit in it, their skewers. They can put it on a plate. They can do it however they want to do it. Let me put this one over here. Okay. And we did it. Woo, I learned a we lot. We got ourselves a fruit party. We sure do. Let's go eat it. Yeah, I hear you. I don't know which one first, though. Mm. We need to get a plate so we act like we're Southern women. All right, let's do it. Put your <laughs> finger up. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs>